Next we'll have Dr. Rohini Hari. I'm Dr. Rohini Hari, uh, junior resident from Sri Ramchandra Medical College, Chennai. I'll be presenting a case of Tolosa Hand Syndrome, mimicking retrovalman neuritis. Tolosa Hand Syndrome is an idiopathic sterile inflammation of cavernous sinus with episodic orbital pain associated with paralysis of one or more of third, fourth and sixth cranial nerve, which usually resolves spontaneously but can relapse and remit. Retrovalvar neuritis is a type of optic neuritis, which is an inflammatory condition of optic nerve characterized by sudden onset of unilateral visual loss. DEV myelination associated with multiple sclerosis is the most common cause. Here we present a 50-year-old man pre uh, came with complaints of uh, sudden onset diminution of vision with severe pain in right eye for three days. He had history of diplopia and headache which was not revealed relieved by medication. He had a history of fever with cough and cold for four days and he's a known diabetic for one year on medication and newly diagnosed hypertension on medication. There were no history of associated vomiting, trauma, redness or previous ocular surgery. No history of flashes and photos. On examination, uh, extraocular movements in right eye was restricted. There was restricted restriction in dextro elevation, depression, dextroversion and there was hypotrophia which increased with uh, same side health it. Uh, there was proptosis with uh, 23 mm. Vision was PL plus and PR accurate. Uh, anterior segment was normal. There was a uh, grade 1 RAPD observed in uh, right eye pupil and fundus was normal. Left eye anterior segment and fundus was normal. On examination, two second, fourth, and sixth cranial nerve palsy was observed in right eye. So, orbital apex syndrome was suspected. MRI brain with orbit was run and it, since it was normal, we suspected retrobulbar neuritis. Uh, routine blood investigation was sent, ESR and blood sugars were high. Since there was uh, uh, no improvement in symptoms, we did a repeat MRA orbit uh, with contrast, MRA and uh, cavernous uh, sinus screening, which showed mild increase in enhancement in right cavernous sinus, which suggested Tolosa and syndrome. Patient was started on IV steroids for five days and uh, followed by uh, oral steroids on tapering dose. Patient was symptomatically better. Tolosa and syndrome is presented with unilateral orbital pain with paralysis of 3rd, 4th and 6th cranial nerves which are due to uh, granular matters inflammation of cavernous sinus and superior orbital fissure. It is associated with history of recent viral infection and progression is very rapid. It has relapsing and remitting course. Oral steroids are the mainstay of treatment. Both symptoms and physical exam findings can be expected to resolve rapidly with oral steroid tapering regimen over 3 to 4 months. Anti-metaboloids like methotrexate, infliximab, mycophenolate has been used in steroid resistant condition. Prognosis is excellent. We present a case of 50 year old man where patient's symptoms and radiological findings were initially misleading. Differential diagnosis has to be considered and carefully ruled out with proper investigation for every condition. So uh, Tolosan syndrome presents as a uni severe and unilateral headache with painful and restrictive movements. Retrovalvular neuritis is a vision threatening condition and it should be diagnosed at the earliest to prevent permanent visual loss. We enlight a uh, rare case of Tolosa and syndrome in milking retrobulbar neuritis here. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Uh, just a minute. Why, how did you, why did you have this uh, uh, doubt of uh, retrobulbar neuritis when extraocular movements were involved? Uh, because he had a painful uh, loss of vision and vision drop was so um, yeah, high in Typically in RBN, you don't expect the ocular movements to be involved or the cranial, other cranial nerves to be involved, right? So primarily, it was, uh, if the movement abnormality was not there, then okay, RBN was definitely a, would have been a doubt. But with the movement, this one present, probably we, uh, what was the first scan done? Was it a CT or a MRI? MRI was done, sir. The first, first yeah. MRI was normal, normal, is it? Yeah. Then the second MRI with enhancement, uh, it turned there out to be positive. Okay, yes. right. Thank you. Thank you.